God bless. My name is Pastor Harris Kakalides, and you're watching and hearing the program, Gain to Know Jesus. And today we're going to study Genesis chapter 22, verses 1 to 5. And it came to pass, after these things, that God did tempt Abraham, and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here am I. And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up, and went on to the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Bide ye here with the donkey, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. Father, in Jesus' name we worship you and we adore you. Blessed God, we worship you. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord God, for this service, for the study of your word, that it may be implanted in our hearts. Help us understand it and put it into practice. In Jesus' name, amen. In verse 1, And it came to pass that after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here am I. The best word for this is tested, for God does not tempt anyone, according to James 1, verse 13. Let no man say, when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither he tempteth he any man. We are told about God testing people to see if they are faithful, and, and that all through the Old Testament as well as the New. Um... Exodus 16, verse 4, Then said the Lord unto Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day, that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or no. Deuteronomy 13, verses 1 to 4, if there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and giveth thee a sign or a wonder, and the sign or wonder come to pass, whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods which thou hast not known. Let us serve them. Thou, thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or the dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God proveth you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Ye shall walk after the Lord your God, and fear him, and keep his commandments, and obey his voice, and ye shall serve him, and cleave unto him. Judges 2, verses 20-23. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he said, Because that the people have transgressed my covenant, which I commanded their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice, I also will not henceforth drive out any from before them of the nations which Joshua um, left when he died, that through them I may prove Israel whether they will keep the way of the Lord to walk therein. And Jeremiah 17 verses 9 and 10, um, the the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doing. And First Peter 1, 7, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than gold, that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found on to praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. So, God doesn't tempt us, but God does test us. There's a big difference between testing and tempting. 
Let's continue. In verse 2, And he said, Take now, God is speaking, he's saying to Abraham, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering unto one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. It is believed that Mount, Tin, uh, Mount Moriah to be where the Jewish temple is at. That's where it's believed um, by tradition. According to Josephus, Isaac was about 25 years old when Abraham was told to sacrifice Isaac, his son. Um, now Isaac was 25 years old, according to um, antiquity of the Jews. That's what it states. According to other Jewish writings, Isaac was 30 to 33. This will make Isaac giving himself willingly to be sacrificed and a picture of the Messiah dying in obedience to his father. Notice what God states, thy only son. Um, it kind of reminds you of John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Um this was um, said, thy only son, because in Isaac is the one of the promise, the promises of God. In him, the Messiah was to come and was from his wife, Sarah, as well. In Genesis seventeen nineteen, and God said, Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. Whom thou lovest. It wasn't that Ishmael was not loved by Abraham. Isaac was all Abraham had for the future. Ishmael being sent off and not accepted by God as the promised child in chapter 21. Let's go to verse 3. Um, and Abraham of, of Genesis, um, Genesis 22 verse 3. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled up his donkey and took two of his um, young men with him and Isaac his son. And he clave the wood f for the burnt offering and rose up and went on to the place of which God had told him. According to Josephus, Abraham kept this thing a, a secret till it was done so he would not be hindered. According, um, let me read what Josephus says. Accordingly, he concealed this command of God and his own intentions about slaughter of his son from his wife, as also from every one of his servants. Otherwise, he should have been hindered from his obedience to God. Kind of teaches us when God sends you on a mission, do the mission. It's between you and God, I guess. We we have to be obedient to God and not let anything hinder us on the way. Imagine Abraham saying to his wife, Well, God sent me to to sacrifice Isaac, but don't worry. Um, God, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> his wife waited many years. She was 90 years old when she had Isaac. She would have probably killed Abraham, <laughs> and he would never sacrifice Isaac the way he planned. Even though we know the story, he never gets to sacrifice Isaac. God stops him before he does, but um, the picture is there in our minds. Okay, in verse 4, Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place to fall off on the third day. Amazing. It was the third day. Verse 5. And Abraham said unto his... What's amazing about verse 4 is that the third day, the third day Jesus Christ resurrected from the dead, the third day Abraham got to this location where he was going to sacrifice his son. Um, you can see pictures of the Messiah there. In verse 5. And Abraham said unto the young man, Abide ye here with the donkey, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. 
Um, notice that he says, I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. Here we see Abraham's faith that even if he would sacrifice his child, God would raise him from the dead as Hebrews 11 verses 17 to 19 states. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he that had received the promises, offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called, accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, from whence he also received him in figure. In verse 6, let's continue um, reading along these passages so we can get a good picture. Verse 6 says, And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. Picture of Jesus carrying the cross in the New Testament. Um, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went, and they went both of them together. In verse 7, and Isaac spake unto Abraham his father, and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? That's a good question. But that question doesn't get answered until we get into the New Testament. Isaac asks a question which is not answered until we get to the New Testament, where we hear John the Baptist stating, about Jesus, the following, John one twenty nine. The next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. John one thirty six. And looking upon Jesus as he walked, he saith, Behold, the Lamb of God. Well, God will provide a lamb. In verse eight um, of John of Genesis twenty two. Um, and Abraham said, My son, God will provide a lamb. Well, that lamb is Jesus Christ. Because if, if you continue the story in Genesis, um, after all these things happen, um, you see a ram stuck um, in verses 13 of Genesis 22. And Abraham lifted up his eyes after God told him not to sacrifice his son. And he looked, and behold, um, behind him a ram caught in the testo by his horns. It was a ram that was it was stuck by his horns, but the lamb wasn't there. Abraham sacrificed the ram in the place of Isaac, but the lamb we don't see the lamb till we get to the New Testament. In verse seven, um, Isaac asking that question. Verse eight, Abraham states. My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. Um, amazing. Um, let's go to 1 Peter 1, 19-20. But with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish, without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. Let's read verse 9 and we're done. Um, I'll say a few words and we're done. And they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac, his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. He bound his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. Isaac, as said before, like the Messiah, gave himself as a sacrifice. I uh, remember what Jesus said in John, um, that he, he is the good shepherd. He giveth his life for the sheep. In Matthew 26, verse 39, we see Jesus. He went a little further and fell on his face and praying, saying, O oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass upon, from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And we see Isaac, obedient to his father, willing to be sacrificed. As well, we see in the New Testament, Jesus, obedient to his father, willing 
to be sacrificed for our sins. Perfect picture of the Messiah. God bless you. Um, you're watching and you're hearing the program, Gain to Know Jesus. And the next program will dig a little bit deeper into the scriptures. God bless. Bye.